On the night of April 13th, 2020, a friend and I were walking past a graveyard that I had been in several times during the day, but never at night. Not for any specific paranormal reason, just I don't want to be in secluded areas at night. I looked into the graveyard from behind a one meter high wooden fence that surrounded it and saw something strange. The area is surrounded by trees and gravestones, but I swear I saw the outline of a person. I think he was wearing a black suit from the glimpse I got, as well as black pants and a black hat. But it was extremely hard to tell, and it could have been any color, just not visible in the black of night. My first instinct was of a person paying their respects late at night, and then I saw the shadow walk behind a large tree. In the direction that he was walking, I should have seen him walk back into my view on the other side of the tree. But he didn't. I asked my friend, and we decided to investigate. We walked a bit to get a quick view of behind the tree. Unless the person had ran, we should have been able to see him walking away or standing behind the tree, but we didn't. It was almost as if he had vanished. We walked into the graveyard and walked up to the tree. Behind the tree was an unmarked grave, no headstone, but a single rose that looked fresh, not wilted at all. Now, obviously we chalked it up to a normal person, nothing paranormal about it. I guess he just slipped out of our field of view and went far enough away that we couldn't see him. Then we realized our footprints were clearly visible on the dirt around where he was standing, but his weren't. We came back the next night for the shits and giggles and saw the same figure, same height, same clothing, at the same spot we were when I caught a glimpse of him. It appeared as if he turned his head at us, and then back in front of him, and walked behind the tree again. We did the same thing. We walked back up to the tree and didn't find any sign of him. Despite the fact that it was like a 30 second walk, and the pace at which someone walks in 30 seconds should not put him outside our field of view. No footprints or disturbed dirt, and the rose was gone. Even though I had visited earlier in the day to attempt to photograph the grave, and it was still there. My friend said it was very strange that, and it had been a real person. We caught him two nights in a row around the same spot at different times of the night. We went there the next two nights and nothing. We didn't see him again. Had we just caught a ghost in a graveyard? I guess we'll never know.